Yeah, don't look behind me. There's a big mess back there. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of switching around. Um, it's taking a little bit longer than I thought. I'm trying to get some programs running on this because I've switched from Windows to Linux to two things. I mean, I was planning on doing this a couple years ago anyway, but um, after the whole recall thing and all this other stuff, I'm like, I'm not syncing with that ship. And um, the first week of switching, I was just trying different distros and stuff, and I finally went to Nobara 39? 39. Latest release of Nobara Linux distro. Fedora-based. Um, I'm still kind of learning the whole Linux thing. Um, sorry, um, I had to do something real quick. I forgot where I was. Uh, Windows, switching to Linux, all that good stuff. Anyway, uh, First thing, because I already have it opened already, I'm going to go here. As you can see, uh, I have my capture card that I got way back in the day. It's hooked up to the PC. It's also charging. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. If it's just a capture cord, or I'm not really, I'm, I don't remember how to use this. The product key is on there, but for both Linux and a uh, virtual machine that I have my old hard drive for Windows up here, so just in case this didn't work, I could go here. But apparently, none of it's working. And I'm not sure if that is, um, I don't know what the issue is. It could be the capture card itself. There is a way of doing this through Bluetooth, I think. Uh, I don't know how well that is. Um, but, uh, it's, it was kind of funny because, uh, I was trying to set this up for, like, a couple days only to realize that wine is a thing and it, installed as far as I know it properly the issue is I don't know if it did or not because it's not working on the Windows 11 machine <laughs> uh, what I could do is I could I could probably just boot to Windows and see what happens I think I'll do that because if that's the case, then I really have no idea what's going on. Also, um, I went from Adobe to DaVinci, but uh, fortunately, if you can see here, it doesn't really load. I mean, it loads, but it's not showing up a splash screen of any sort. Uh, all the files are, are on there. They are um, installed. I made sure I double checked. It's just not loading. Another, it, uh, I was jumping from distro to distro to find out what Proton for Steam would work. I, I tried Fedora, which is, you know, Dabara 39 is just Fedora, but for some reason I got farther with Nobara than any of the other distros I tried. I don't know if that's just because I'm still learning and I'm stupid on it. But um, I can get uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 to playing with some tweaks. Kingdom Hearts 3 works right off the box. Doom works right off the box. Well, right, right out of the box. Persona 3 works for Linux anyway. Uh, but most of the games I have are Windows, Windows only. Um, anyway, DaVinci. Uh, there's a free version. Of, well, there's a free. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, um, there's another one called, uh, what was it called? Uh, do, 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 was it this? Yeah, uh, Caden Live. Um, I've heard it's pretty weird. I've tried different, um, video editing software before. My first one 
was uh, Windows Movie Maker, of course. But then I upgraded to a free version of Camtasia Studio. I don't know if there's something else before I went to finally went to Adobe, and I've been using them forever. But you know, it's I love Adobe, I really do. But when you look at the prices and stuff, and you compare that to the Vinci Resolve, especially me who doesn't really do it like a lot of heavy editing. Adobe is clean. Everything is it's easy to use. DaVinci Resolve has a free version with everything I already do plus a one-time payment of 250, I think. I did try Sony Sony Vegas. Is that what it's called? I think it's called Sony Vegas. I tried the the free trial of that and I I could not go through it. I don't know what it was. It was just kind of awkward to use. But DaVinci Resolve was pretty good. But this, which, by the way, I use my latest video, my, the last video I uploaded, which was the Kingdom Hearts video. I used DaVinci Resolve on that. And it was really fun. Uh, but this video is going to be using, I'm going to be using um, Kaden Live, see how it goes. I've heard horror stories about it, but it's worth a shot. Again, I do have the Windows 11 through VirtualBox, so if I really want to, and if I can't figure out how to run DaVinci Resolve here, uh, I'll just use that. So, I'm trying to figure out video software, set video editing software, uh, and trying to figure out um, what's wrong with my capture 3DS capture card. I don't even know if I had that old video up when I was opening it. That's done. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, but, um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna see how Caden Live is, see how, if it's that, as bad as people say it is. In the meantime, I can figure out how to work DaVinci Resolve on here and a new software for my 3DS capture card so I can play Pokemon X before Legend Z comes out. Which is next year. We got about um, six months minimum. Also, Shimagami Tensei 5. Oh, that's right. Linux cannot use capture cards for Elgato, which I have. I've had this thing. I've had this forever. It's they don't even sell these anymore. Um, it can probably find used ones on eBay, but it's the HD 60 Pro, not the 4K one. I bought this like back in 2016 or something like that. That's another video I don't think is on um, my any of my YouTube channel videos. But look, look at this. It's scuffed so bad. I, it's been abused. <laughs> but Linux can't use it. But the the cool thing is, I yeah, you know, I've upgraded my computer to a degree. Um, I'm just waiting to get get save up some money to the set it aside for a new graphics card and then when I do that I'll have spare parts for a second computer that I can use for streaming so I'm not using my laptop um, I'll probably install Windows on that so I can use this I also but I also have a cheap capture card here like, I mean cheap it was like thirty dollars on Walmart this, I was using this to connect um, this computer to the laptop and using the laptop to stream. I I don't really need dual PC, but it, I just think it's cool, honestly. I have the parts to do it, to, you know, not right now, but I will have the parts to do it, so might as well. I'm going to try this. Actually, we should probably try this and see how well it goes. <clears throat> go here and what I'm going to do is video capture device I'm going to assume so USB video that looks about right I'm going to move you down here no right there and then what I'm going to do is what I would usually do with Elgato so it's I've yeah you can't see it um, let me get my switch. I'm going to uh, connect 
this capture card to my laptop so I can record this computer. That way I can um, continue recording on the laptop. Sorry about the microphone. It's just not working. Or it, I don't have the good microphone plugged in, but I can't get my webcam to plug in. It's enabled on here, but it's not showing up. I think we're good. There's a, record, there's a copy of the recording somewhere. So what I'm going to be doing... I'm going to restart. And that is still recording. And I don't have to move too fast. Um, there will be some options for me to boot to Windows unless uh, making that VMDK file uh, messed it up. But we're going to find out. Uh, the only the only upgrade it really or update it needed was a Brave browser, and um, I don't think it would have taken that long. And I'm not sure where these the system where it's going to show up if it's going to show up on the capture card or the main screen. Okay, it's going to show up on the main screen. I do have Windows Boot Manager on here. It's not showing up on that screen, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to hit Windows Boot Manager, and you're going to show up on there. Okay. I got another keyboard, but this is not working. I have no camera, no quick keyboard and mouse. The uh, also my switch is not charging like at all. <laughs> okay. Yep, I figured I'd have to put the uh, thing on there. That's all right. Oh, that's the charger. <laughs> I was like, wait, that's kind of loose. Plug it in. We should see 3D Pinball Space Cadet. Because I have that on here because it's a hacked 3DS. Filtering file uh, check device. Okay, that's actually something I haven't seen in a long while. It just says zero. Um, shoot, I wonder what the issue is then. If it works here, but it can't work on the same SSD on a virtual machine. Uh, then again, it's not really working. I mean, it has. It's actually identifying this. So. The lower screen works. Let me pull that up over here. The upper screen has probably needs to be some some configured calibration settings. Uh, do that. Is that gonna work? <laughs> I've never messed with the calibration settings before. Probably just zero. What if I just match that? It's not going to. Uh, what if I mess with these down here? What would that happen there? Nothing. It shouldn't be anything, really. Oh, this is 3D. This is 2D. I didn't realize that. What if I turn 3D on? No, nope, still nothing. Okay, we're a lot farther than we were. I don't even know why I'm, I'm speaking into the microphone that's connected to my actual computer. That's hilarious. Let's restart it. It's good, you know, that probably is what it needed anyway. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I probably didn't even need to use that setting. I probably just needed to re needed to uh, re re um, redo the restart the program. Look at that. Um, I think we're on the verge of playing X again. I just need to figure out why it's working on the SSD like this and not through the virtual machine using the same SSD. 
Um, if we can get DaVinci to work too, that'd be great. Again, I'm I'm speaking directly to the microphone, not plugged in to the thing. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is um, boot it up again, this time through Linux, and then the virtual machine. I wonder if this helped. Again, sorry, it's not going to show up on the recording. It is on the other monitor. No, not this time. No, it's showing on both screens. Never mind. Cool. Actually, um, let me try it. Let's open it up here. Uh, let's see if I can recreate what I just did. Oh, yeah, I moved that up. <gasps> we might get somewhere, guys. We just might get somewhere. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. I think I broke it. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, because I did not see it. Let's try this again. Um, oof. That might turn out the same way. Shoot. Well, um, it's kind of the aftermath of all that, kind of. Um, still trying to figure out how to do the 3DS thing. Um, ultimately, I might just do the Bluetooth connection. We'll see. Um, as for DaVinci, I've been using Kden Live. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, however, I do plan on installing... Um... Linux on my laptop that I used for storm chasing as well, but I found a, um, a much better laptop for that I'll be getting next year. It's actually like a, a bulk, a bulky laptop, uh, which will have windows on it. Um, <laughs> and I think, I think my main computer will have Linux. My laptop will have Linux. Um, the bulky laptop that I'll be taking during storm chasing will have Windows. And the streaming la uh, computer that I'll have will probably be Windows as well. That way I can actually use my Elgato capture card. Because I, I kind of got the uh, cheap one working. But it I can't get audio through it. But I can. But I just can't hear it. I can't figure out how to do that, so yeah, it's it's gonna be a while before everything is the way it should look. Um, but I think that's it. Uh, CentOS I think will be for the laptop, but I have it set up in my room to where if I feel sick or I just don't feel like getting out of bed to play games, I can just open up Steam. Uh, what's it called? Steam Link? And use it and go through there. But I don't know how to do that through Linux. I'll figure it out, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of work doing going on here. So, um, I I'm ready to get this video over with. I'm tired of using Kden Live. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, see you guys in the next one. And, oh, I only got one shot. I don't even know if I got it. <laughs> See you guys later.